It's no secret that industrial robots have become mass replacements for humans in manufacturing. According to official statistics, American manufacturers have been increasingly purchasing robots to replace their employees. For example, only in the United States, robot deliveries and manufacturing have grown by a record 40% in the last year. Today we will talk about not quite ordinary industrial robots, namely cobots. Collaborative robots, or cobots, are devices capable of engaging in the production of various products alongside humans. Cobots are designed not to create hazardous conditions for nearby workers. Cobots, or assistant robots, are not larger in size than the average person. They are equipped with motion sensors for worker safety. The software of collaborative robots is designed for cooperation with humans. Cobots are easy to train. Even a child can train a collaborative robot. The setup time between different operations takes only a few seconds. The main difference between collaborative robots and industrial robots is the presence of motion sensors. Cobots do not require a dedicated and fenced-off area to protect workers from injury and interference during operation. Unlike industrial robots, collaborative robots can easily work alongside humans, perform dangerous and risky operations, and have simple setup procedures. Collaborative robots are capable of performing many functions that were previously done by humans. Cobots save employees time, optimize the entire enterprise's activities. They enable more work to be done in the same amount of time. Today we will show you the most advanced and technological cobots in the world. Enjoy the show! Japanese company FANUC is one of the most influential robotics companies specializing in the manufacturing and assembly of industrial systems. FANUC has been involved in factory automation for 60 years, with approximately 2,000 robots working on the company's production lines, assembling and testing industrial systems. The company is notable for independently producing and developing every major component of its systems, from hardware to software. FANUC's clients include Apple, Boeing, Coca-Cola, Toyota Motor Corporation, General Motors and others. As of 2023, FANUC had delivered around 700,000 industrial robots to various countries. Currently, FANUC holds a 65% market share worldwide. At present, FANUC offers the widest range of industrial robots in the world, with over 100 models, including the world's strongest robot, with a payload capacity of 2,300 kilograms, and the world's strongest collaborative robot with a payload capacity of 35 kilograms. FANUC robots can be applied in all manufacturing sectors. The main types of FANUC robots include articulated anthropomorphic robots, delta robots, welding robots, palletizing robots, painting robots, gantry robots, and collaborative robots. This is one of the most advanced and sophisticated collaborative robots from the Japanese company Kawada Robotics, Next Age. Next Age is a robot whose main task is to replace humans in monotonous work, such as in manufacturing. According to the manufacturer, the robot can work with humans, other machines, and use specialized tools. The robot's head somewhat resembles a human head. It is equipped with two cameras and has two degrees of freedom, allowing it to adjust its field of vision. The torso is equipped with an LED display, and the overall height of the robot can be adjusted depending on the task at hand. The robot's torso weighs only 29 kilograms, while its base weighs a hefty 130 kilograms. As for height, it is adjustable and can reach a maximum of 170 centimeters. Next Age is capable of lifting objects weighing up to 3 kilograms. The robot is designed to work in factories and other production lines. It can be controlled using a tablet with specialized software that can be quickly configured for specific tasks. This is perhaps one of the most unusual industrial robots that can be remotely controlled by a human. It's not quite a cobot in the conventional sense. Jinki Itai, a robotics startup from Kusatsu, Shiga Prefecture, recently introduced a rather unusual but very intriguing type of heavy machinery, an example of human-machine integration. A metallic humanoid robot with a head, torso, and two arms protruding upward from a cabin resembling an excavator's cabin. The robot, designed to perform technical maintenance work in various areas such as railway track repair or replacement and maintenance of road signs, can replace a team of workers and thereby reduce the risk of serious accidents in the workplace. It can lift and move heavy loads such as steel pipes, plates, or wires, and perform its tasks as effectively as a human because it is controlled by a human.
The Stretch Robot is a versatile mobile robot designed to unload trailers and containers for safer and more efficient warehouse operations. The robot handles a wide range of package types and sizes and can process boxes weighing up to 50 pounds. It can also move up to 800 boxes per hour, comparable to the work of a human employee. Stretch is mounted on a square mobile base equipped with wheels, a perception mast with cameras and other sensors, and a robotic arm with seven degrees of freedom. Due to its enhanced mobility and pallet size, Stretch is designed to maneuver in trucks and narrow warehouse spaces. Stretch is the first Boston Dynamics robot specifically built for warehouse environments. While there are many stationary robotic manipulators, their drawback lies in the expensive installation, the need to reconfigure warehouse infrastructure, and modeling workflow around the robot. In contrast, Stretch provides automation in environments where suitable infrastructure is lacking. Its mobility allows Stretch to perform tasks according to warehouse needs, without the need for reconfiguration or installation. Amazon's Proteus robot is a new type of robot that is designed to help with warehouse tasks. Proteus is an autonomous mobile robot, the first one that Amazon describes as fully autonomous. The Proteus robot is equipped with sensors and cameras that allow it to navigate autonomously through the warehouse without endangering human workers. It can lift up to 500 pounds, making it ideal for tasks such as loading and unloading shelves. Amazon says Proteus robots have advanced safety, perception, and navigation technology. When a human steps into the beam, the robot stops moving, then resumes after the person moves away. The company has also introduced another new robot, Cardinal, that uses artificial intelligence and computer vision to swiftly select a package from a large pile, lift it, read the label, and place it in a go-kart. The robotic arm is claimed to reduce the risk of employees injuring themselves when lifting large or heavy packages or handling complicated packing in a confined space. Cardinal can speed up the shipping process by transforming what was previously a time-consuming manual task into a continuous automated function. Currently, a version of Cardinal capable of handling packages up to 50 pounds is being evaluated, and Amazon intends to deploy this technology in fulfillment centers this year. The Foodly robot by RT Corporation is designed for collaborative work with humans in food factories. Foodly aims to address the pressing issue of labor shortages in the ready-to-eat food industry. The humanoid robot can pick up prepared food from a tray and move it into breakfast boxes. The humanoid's head is equipped with a camera used for product recognition. Additionally, there is another camera in Foodly's chest that tracks the movement of lunch boxes along the conveyor line. Representatives of the robotics company stated that the robot uses deep learning technologies and the open source machine learning library TensorFlow for object recognition. The humanoid form factor and design allow people to feel comfortable working alongside Foodly. With onboard 3D cameras located in the robot's head and chest, Foodly can recognize various types of food in real time. It has two robotic arms that enable it to perform tasks simultaneously, such as assembling, moving, and stacking complex food items of different sizes and shapes, including vegetables, fried chicken, and meatballs. Introduced in California in 2017, Flippy is a standalone robotic arm that uses computer vision and machine learning to perform simple kitchen tasks, like working a burger grill while freeing up the humans for more interesting and less dangerous tasks than working in tight quarters around grills and hot oils. Flippy 2 is the second iteration of Miso Robotics' FryStation robot. By combining the improved Flippy 2 with the new auto bin system that can handle specialty foods like onion rings and chicken tenders in customizable bins, the robot can now perform twice as many food preparation tasks as the Mark 1, such as basket filling, emptying, and returning. In addition, it can handle multiple fry bins, so vegetables and fish can be cooked at the same time without mixing their flavors. Write in the comments what you liked most after watching this video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the Caro Show channel. Also check out our previous videos. See you next time.